Recovery of energy after a tennis match is a fundamental part of a tennis player's life. Post-match requires different steps for recovery, with different techniques and methodologies. An article of the British Journal of Sports Medicine, entitled Recovery Interventions and Strategies for Improved Tennis Performance, gave interesting information about this topic. Below, we propose the abstract and some important steps, improving the recovery capabilities of the tennis athlete is receiving more emphasis in the research communities, and also by practitioners, coaches, physical trainers, tennis performance specialists, physical therapists, etc. The purpose of this article was to review areas of recovery to limit the severity of fatigue and or speed recovery from fatigue. This review will cover four broad recovery techniques commonly used in tennis with the belief that the interventions may improve athlete recovery and therefore improve adaptation and future performance. The four areas covered are 1. Temperature-based interventions 2. Compressive clothing 3. Electronic interventions and 4. Nutritional interventions Temperature-based interventions Hydrotherapies have been in use for several thousand years. Spas, pools, steam rooms, cold pools and contrast temperature protocols were used by the ancient Greeks and Romans. The most common temperature-based recovery techniques currently are, cooling, timing and hot water immersion. Compressive clothing. In recent years, compressive clothing have become fashionable with athletes in the hopes of reducing injuries, benefiting performance and enhancing recovery. The recovery benefits reported from the use of compressive clothing are similar to those reported for hydrotherapy, as hydrostatic pressures perform a similar role in both methods. These benefits stem from the graduated pressures which extend medially from limb extremities towards the body core. Studies indicate that the sports compression garments reduce post-exercise edema following eccentric work and reduce sensations of ensuing muscle soreness, as well as aid recovery of soft tissue injuries. Electronic techniques. Although many types of electrical stimulation techniques exist, the focus of this section will be on non-invasive techniques. The electrical stimulation reviewed involves a series of stimuli delivered superficially using electrodes placed on the skin. Nutritional aspects of tennis recovery. The most important are, rehydration, carbohydrate and protein, source British Journal of Sports Medicine, recovery interventions and strategies for improved tennis performance also read, tattoos and tennis players, the last barrier that is thinning, 